Hi guys, so in my last video for Spellbinders New Juno 2023 launches uh, or collection releases, I um, made this little card with the Stampendous Hugs collection, and so today we're going to follow up with the kitty. Super cute. Um, so these items were sent free of charge from my review, and of course all opinions are my own, and any links in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links, so thank you for using those if you can, or if you would like. Also, uh, Spellbinders, depends on when you're watching, is having a sale where it's a $25 discount automatically on a shopping cart of $125 or more. That's, I believe, after discounts. So if you're a club member, you will get 10% off. Um, and it just comes off automatically on the cart. But I'll have the information in the description box as far as the expiration on that. But super cute. So I had made this little guy. And so today, I think we will follow up with the kitty. Um, I did the stamping on the face last time. So maybe today we'll use the um, kind of piece in portion because it does have accents and then this little uh, inlay. And, um, you know, make a cute little card. So, um, um, and then uh, probably an embossed background, why not? So, what I'm going to do is uh, grab some paper. It's super easy. When I'm in my little teddy, I felt like it was super quick. I know the video took a little longer than I think the first 10 minutes I was talking about the new releases. Because so I was like, how did that take so long in the video? Because like it was so fast. But um, let me grab some paper and we'll put our little kitty together. So the matching stamp set for that, obviously we have the sentiment stamp set. So sentiments that are like punny that really go with that. Um, and then this little kitty one. So we have some paws. You can do like a little um, collar with a heart on it. It's a different faces. Um, she also has this little kitty cat. Now on the bear one, you have this bear and there also are bear faces on these stamps that are super cute and they're like smaller. So you can put a little face on your little bear. How cute is that? But um, the kitty cat already has a face. He's like gonna start misspeaking. So for the little guy, um, you do actually have one little face right in here. Um, just a little different than the other one for the bear you have a couple different faces it's because his face is already etched in there so there you have that and this accents it I suppose um, you know it even has Maui Christmas wishes to you and yours and there are little paws big warm heart lots of punny things on this and then of course the add-on set uh, if you would like to get that again I already talked all about this I'll link that first video because I talked about everything that's on here and then you also have like the little envelopes that you can add I think today what I'll have her doing is holding the little sash, you know, with, um, yeah, why not, with a sentiment on that. So let me grab some paper and we will get started. It's kind of going to be kind of like a bright and crazy card. So I have this um, paper pack. I need to get some more. It's the Color Essentials cardstock combo or sort of pack. And I had so many gorgeous colors in it. I'm on down to the last, like, sheet or two here. Um, but I'm going to grab this uh, orange. We're going to make an orange kitty. Kind of Garfield. <laughs> that's what it reminds me of. Uh, that's for the cat. And then I'm just going to make it super crazy. So um, I'm going to use this blue paper for the actual background piece. So I'm just going to cut that down to 4 and 8 by 5 and 3 eighths. Uh, I have a standard A2 size card here. Again, that would be 8 and a half by 5 and a half. Squared at 4 and a quarter. If you're making your own, this comes from the quick and easy card kit. And I will run that through this um, sealed for summer um, 3D embossing folder, this blue piece. So for right now, let's put that to the side. This is not something I'll be using, or maybe, but we'll see. <laughs> put that over there. Um, so this guy, I'm just gonna run it through just like this, and we're gonna do some stamping and some little accent to him, but we're also gonna run the face. So um, just like this, and I think we're gonna add some little stripes. I was gonna say on the, um, and the bear stamp set, if you pick up the bear, um, it has this little thing here so you can color in like his little ears and make him look like a panda. So you have this fit panda face and then these guys and you can also use that to make it look like fur like the black areas a panda might have. But it's definitely for the ears because it's really cute. Um, and then this one we have the paws and things like that. But we'll, we'll make our own little like kitty stripes. And hopefully that will work out for us. So I'm going to put that there. And when I say tape it down, I mean just tape it down so that the dies don't move. You don't want one die to shift under another one. It's not good for the dies or your machine. So I'll run that through and then we'll, you know, do our face and accent pieces when I come back. Thing. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm telling you. Oh my gosh, the 3D embossing folders from Spellbinders, my goodness, it's the design, it's how deeply etched and your paper does not get destroyed and it's just, they're so great. So let's check this guy out. 
Oh my goodness, aww, how cute, this little face. So interestingly enough, the stamps actually can still be used even if you do the inlay of the face, and I don't know if I noticed that on the bear, but um, you can still kind of line them up, and you would just have lines and like whiskers, you know, um, where this little guy's not going to have the whiskers, but again, you can line them up with like that one, I think that's probably the only one, I don't know, let me see. Yeah, I would say it's just that guy. Well, maybe this one. Okay, so this face and this face look like they can be lined up again. Um, and they correspond with what's going on here. So, just something to think about. Um, let's see here. Okay, so we have... I'll just glue this down on here, my card base. And I mean the emboss side and the deboss side are both gorgeous. I'm going to use this side. So I'll just simply glue that down. And look how bright and fun this is going to be. Okay. Um, I keep looking for a smaller, uh, there we go, well, I would go smaller than that even, but uh, let's do our little paw prints, and there's two different designs for that, one with like little lines, very cartoony looking, and one that doesn't have that, um, but I'm just going to take that guy, and I'm just eyeballing this, so, just making sure it's making contact, I'll come in a little bit closer for you guys. And then this one, just kind of, not rocking it, but just making sure every surface is touching, especially if you have a bigger stamp, you know, you don't want to pick that up and have partial stamping. It might be okay for this project, though, because we are going to um, put that little sash in his hands, and then I will be right back. And I'm going to do a little, a little something to make it look like he has some fun little hairs, and more like a Garfield kind of cat. I'm just lightly using, this is a Micron pen, have the 0 0.05, I don't know if it's 0.05 or how they describe those, but just on the very edges, and actually that little bit of detail is very cute. Okay, and there, and then maybe some, uh, and here too, why not? And maybe some little hairs, <laughs> little ears, or at least some little detail in there. Alright, and I'm not doing a lot, guys, because I'm afraid. <laughs> this is the first time I've done something like that. And then we want to give him, like, little um, zigzags, like, going down right here. Maybe another set right there. And I'm just doing it very loosely. I mean, you can do, obviously, a lot more. Just to give him a little bit of what looks like striping. Oh, we need a tail. Well, we don't need to have a tail, but I think a tail would be fun. Um, okay, so again, just like in here... Coming down in here, just it looks like he has this little kitty cat. Now you can go much heavier than I am going, I'm just I'm not going too heavy with it. It's very cute. And then um, let's go ahead and get him a little tail going. So. There it is. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and run this through, and then we'll add some striping on that, too. Um, we'll need his little tail. And while I'm doing that, let's go ahead and get his facial features. Actually, this does have little pieces of ear, so I didn't have to do that. So I might, I might cover them up. Um, maybe not. We'll see. Um, so the facial features, he has a little muzzle and then little cheeks. So the little muzzle, his little nose, I'll probably run through black paper, you know, and then pink for the whole thing. And then you'll see what the ears might look like, but I probably won't use them today. And I'll be right back. Um, so I have the facial pieces, and then it has little score lines, score marks, where they were supposed to go. So I'm just going to put my glue on there instead of on the smaller pieces. And his little nose. Oh my gosh. I mean, look at that. How that just changes his whole face. So cute. Um, and then little pink cheeks. Now, they are kind of funky. Like, one's definitely different than the other. I think this one goes here. Now you can put them down, however, but there is definitely a shape, and they are not symmetrical. They're just more, like, cartoony. So I'm just looking at the shape there and seeing what I have in my hand. Oh, and I think it goes like that. Oh, my gosh. How cute. A little extra glue there. Now, obviously, the behind his eyes are 
Oh, that'd be cute. Well, it should be black because I guess his eyes are closed, but you can... It would have been cute to put a color, huh? Okay, so I'm just going to back that up with some black. You can definitely paper piece back in there if you want to do that kind of thing. You just run that face part through something black again. Okay. These are so cute, you guys. And honestly, they're done so easily. Obviously, I'm doing my own thing as far as the little, like, marker accents and stuff. You don't have to do that. And then um, the ears, you know, I let that move because I didn't care. I wasn't going to use it, but you have those. And then you can still put the little hairs if you wanted. But I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, his tail. Now, you know, his little tail can come out back here. Do you want it like that? Do you want it to go like this? I mean, you can use it however, I guess, more curled. And so I'm going to put some little stripies, but at the very end, I'm going to kind of color it in and just give it a little bit of a, that kind of treatment. <laughs> And I suppose we can just make little stripes. Just have fun with it, of course. That's, you know, something I added there, and I think it looks very cute. I'm not going to stick his tail down yet until we know where the sign will be and what... Look how fresh and cute and sweet that is. I love it. Okay, um, and I guess his little sign... Let me see here. You know, it could be like on gray paper, huh? Just to not just be stark white or something. Hmm. And of course I say gray paper and that's like one of the colors that I keep the least of, but I think I used it. Oh no, that's the shiny paper. I'll be right back. would be nice because it's kind of subdued. But I found this yellow and I think that's lovely. So let's just do that. And I am going to stamp this, oh my gosh, with a press because this is textured paper. You guys, I mean, we're basically done. Um, so none of these sentiments will go in that little sign. They're not shaped for it, and I don't think they're deep enough to, like, they're deeper than that. So we have this one. See, all these guys are kind of, like, shaped for that. Hey, birthday, yeah, you did it. Love you so this much. Oh, let's do that one. And I'm just going to put it here because I don't really know. I know there's a lot of... Ah. Yeah, that'll be fine. And again, just because that is textured paper, I wasn't sure that I would be able to stamp and it would be great, you know, that quickly. Nice firm. Oh, well, we had a good we had a good go, so that's fine. Um, okay, it will be impossible to look through this, obviously. So we're gonna do our little trick. Let me clean up a little bit and I'll be right back. I'm going to take a scrap of paper and I actually chose a color that I would like to use on here. Maybe drop shadow with it. Why not? You're going to want to hinge that. So just put tape in one area where you think you can hinge it. Actually, it'd probably be better over here, but I will. Okay. Because you don't want it to come out of the place. So we take that. We take this. Go ahead and run it through your die cutting machine. <laughs> I don't know where that popping sound came from, but that's okay. And now you'll have this die cut, of course, and that's great. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at the little, the way it cuts in on the edges, gives it a lot of texture. Okay, so now we have this guy, and don't remove this, just flip it open a little bit. And that's what I was saying, I probably should have done this over here on the side, but that's okay. Because I don't want to take it off, but there we go. So what you do is as you're looking, you can see exactly where you're cutting. So I'm gonna use this as a little guide. And hopefully, you know, that's where I want it. And then pop this back in, especially since it was kind of wonky. Just make sure it really goes back into that space that it occupied before. So next time I would hinge it on the side right here because it would be easier to pop this open than what I did. Okay. And you'll get a lot closer than if you just try to eyeball that. I don't know how you would eyeball that, to be honest. Or I guess you can cut it first and then stamp it, but then it's kind of a pain that you have to try to hold that down on your stamping press or whatever, so whatever. Works for you. Cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. So let's go ahead and do a drop shadow, but I don't know if I can do it like this. Yeah, that looks better. So the pink is going to be sticking out the bottom a little bit. So just a little something like that. 
And this textured paper I used is tonic paper, so um, on one side it's more textured, on the other side it's a little less textured, so I stamped on the little less textured side. Still textured, but not as much as the other side. Look how cute. Okay. So we have our little guy, and then we have this, and he's going to be holding that. And his little tail can be... Like there? Something like that? Okay. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll pop him up completely, so... I'm just going to add some glue here just so I can see where his tail should go. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and... Oh, yeah. Well, hmm. You can give it a little zhuzh and then glue it down so it has a little roundness. I think that'd be fun. So let's put a little glue here, a little glue here. And in that very center, I'll use some lower profile dimensionals to keep it kind of popped up. has a little bit of dimension. So I'll put it in his little hands and also stick it down right here so it has a little dimension supported by that and then this will be glued onto his hands. And then I'm going to strategically place some uh, adhesive. I'll be right back. Okay. I just put a little bit behind that. I think you can put it behind this one too. And have our little guy. And I want him to be kind of, I mean, he can go straight like that, but I want him to be just a little bit like that, taking up pretty much all the space. And look at his little tail. Oh my gosh, how cute. So again, really quick to put together, I did a little texture in the background. You know, he has his little banner, again, popped up a little bit with that. And you can definitely put a higher profile um, dimension, dimensional adhesive under there, but I just went with a little bit because I popped him up, so I didn't want this to be like half an inch tall or something, right? So there we go. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys. Thank you so much, so much for these items for review. I am just in love with the Stampendous Hugs. They are so cute. So just a little something different than uh, the last card we did. And I mean, how cute are they? Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, images coming up. I'll have the links in the description box again, along with the expiration on the $25 off automatically on a $125 cart. And I'll see you all at the next one. Bye now.